Hi, I'm Tadao of Mother Skyle Day. Mother Skyle Day is Japanese meaning you can still use it. So let's repair it yourself and save money, energy, and resources. Today I'm gonna show you how I replace the shock absorber for a washer. That's a fridge there, a gallery, very old washer. I had a repeated problem of uh, problems of the uh, falling off the drum. So drum when it especially if, the, if it's heavy load, it, it, it drops off the frame and uh, I replaced the uh, and the, sometimes it, it snapped off the uh, spring. So the, the, uh, I replaced the spring and I in, enforced so that the spring not gonna fall off, but the, still I had the same similar problem. So the, I decided to re replace the shock absorber and it turned out the shock absorber was totally gone. So if you have the same problem, I strongly recommend you to uh, replace all the springs and shock absorbers at the same time. But anyways, this is how it went. Okay, this is the fridge there, gallery, uh, washer. Actually, I have a separate video of outlining what happened before and I'm gonna put the link in the, uh, the comment port. And so what happened is basically uh, it started that the drum started to uh, shake crazy and and what I found was the this snapped uh, the spring so this this spring was hanging the drum uh, to uh, from this uh, frame and then I replaced the uh, the spring I got the new spring and it has a actually pair and it was working but the the soon uh, the the, I had the trouble of, of the 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 spring uh, came spring came off from the, the frame very easily so it's often happened so the I decided to put the, something I'm gonna show you later and force that the spring not gonna come off then what happened is I have another one this one so I have two of them <laughs> snap so the, on the other side I got the snap off. And then I uh, put the new spring, but I and 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 decided to uh, check how the drum shakes, and then actually it shakes really crazy. So now I decided to replace the uh, damper this time. So I'm gonna show you how I uh, do it. So I'm gonna close the valve outside and cold side. I close the valve. Then I'm gonna loosen those holes. I also gonna uh, remove this the drain pipe, drain hose, and also unplug there and pull this uh, washing machine out. So the back panel is removed. So I'm gonna show you how I uh, fix the, the top uh, spring. So I'm gonna remove these two screws. This screw uh, is, is a little pain. Probably if I remove this guy, I can access it, but I have some like uh, the angle wrench, angle uh, screwdriver, so I'm gonna use that. So this top panel will be off like this and lift up and then you can remove it. I'm gonna, I cannot do it with my hands. I'm gonna put this guy here. So this is what I did. So this is the original, the, the plate that hold the, the spring. Actually, I can really see the spring. This is the spring. I put the uh, the plastic tubing uh, a little bit here, 
so that it, it's it's you know the uh, the absorb the the shock and also this guy th this is a big slot so I, I put this again plastic tubing into the slot and they put the tie wrap so that this this tubing not gonna come off and also I put this the fabric so that the this tie tie wrap is not snapped off by this uh, sharp edge of the plate so this is what I did on the uh, left side or the right side and then the the coming off on the right side stopped and then the left side spring snapped so the today I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna replace this shock absorber down there two of them so I don't think this is that difficult so I think this this, this is just a plastic snap in <sighs> So I pulled out this guy. This is just a pin with uh, this lock mechanism. So I just push this in and pull out with this guy. And it came off. So this is the right one or left one from the... So the, I'm gonna put the new one. So this is the new shock absorber. And this, actually I noticed this guy has some sleeve, so I'm gonna remove this sleeve so that this pin gonna come in easily. So on the same side, the, the other side, same thing. Remove this sleeve. And then, <coughs> place it. Okay, okay, so this is not that bad. Make sure it doesn't come off. Okay, right, I'm gonna move on the other side. Oops, but I'm gonna try without removing this. I think it's gonna work. By the way, this is the box to, uh, for the motor control. Uh, this guy actually, I replaced the motor control once. This is really an old washer. So again, the keys, how to push in, the keys, how to push in this, this pin. So 
There we go. So if I can use both hands, I can push this pin in and pull. That's that's easy. Okay, this thing was really hard, but I used the channel lock to push it in. Now it's it's fixed. So I'm gonna put back this the controller, motor control driver. Okay. Okay, now the shock cup is over the installed. I hope this guy will will keep the drum in place. Actually, this is the old one. It's, it never worked. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no dumping action for the old one, so they, that's why it didn't work. Hey, panel is on and I. Like, I think I'm gonna run it and uh, I believe it's gonna work fine. The question is if the drum gonna fall off again or not. So, but anyways, I have a test drum and I'm gonna stop my video here. Thank you very much for watching.